Yo, what's up everybody? A super fly fat guy, A59 coming at you once again. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, my review of the Maxpedition Fat Boy GTG, and I think it's still a Versa pack, but I'm not 100% sure about that. GTG stands for Good to Go. Uh, this is a great, uh, a, a great bag. Um, there, there. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and hit on a couple of things that I really don't like about it. Uh, we're just gonna kick that right off. <laughs> How about that? Uh, one thing I don't like, and damn it, yeah, this is a really odd angle for me to be filming. So sorry about that. Also, if you hear squeaks in the stuff in, in the background, I'm not farting. Uh, I would own up to a fart. You know what I mean? But uh, it's the squeaky chair that I'm sitting in. So. The one thing I don't really care for too much is the um, the strap here that kind of goes around your neck, like the you know whatever side you're carrying it on, it goes around the opposite side of your neck. It's not very comfortable. <laughs> it's not very comfortable at all, actually. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think just the strap would be comfortable. I haven't tried that yet, though. But uh, as far as being comfortable is concerned. This is not. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's got some padding here, but it's extremely thin, as you can see. Uh, at least I can, I hope you can see. Uh, lighting is kind of bad, too. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> uh, but really, I mean, it, it, it's, kind, it's weird. It's thicker on the sides here than it is in the middle. And in the middle, there's just not a lot of padding there. And um, it just kind of gets a little cumbersome <laughs> we'll call it that we'll, we'll be nice about it uh another thing too is for some reason i thought this was more of like a canvas um rather than a what does this feel like it's can you hear that it's um it's like uh what the hell is that stuff called they make sheets out of um, what is that? I think it Cordura nylon or something, something like that. Anyway, it's just really, really thick, which to me, I don't know. I just felt like something that's going to be on my side for a long duration. You know, if I'm wearing this all day somewhere on a trip, a hike, whatever, I just felt like it would, it would. I thought it was going to be more like a canvas feel, kind of like a, a satchel of some kind, rather than this, this I don't know, this like real hardcore nylon, Kodora nylon plastic feeling stuff. Um, but that's, the, that's literally the only two things that I don't like about this bag, uh, which are two things that I wouldn't have known otherwise. You know, I, you got to order it to... to find out what you don't like but that's it though I mean and those two things I can handle uh, one plus is that on this side of the bag uh, the part that's up against your body I guess this is the hook into your belt um, which obviously I never did but um, this is actually uh, actually <laughs> the thickness of the, it it's a padding just like up on the neck but actually this padding here is a tad bit thicker than what's on the neck and it's it's really really comfortable up against the body, um, and it's got two spots here. It's a hook and loop. Um, I guess this is the the loop part maybe <laughs> of uh, Velcro, and you can put you know some patches there. I just haven't done it yet, but I plan to. Uh, the one awesome thing, and the, basically the reason why I wanted this model, is uh, this back pocket here is lined with that huge uh, spot of hook and loop um, Velcro material so that you can get one of those universal you know Velcro holsters to put in there and you can carry a concealed weapon in here and that's what I got it for guys uh, being the fat ass that I am um, it's very uncomfortable to carry in a holster for me on my person so I got this thinking, you know what, I'm going to try this and see what it's like. I still need to get my concealed carries license, but I definitely want to have something that is going to be uh, comfortable to wear or at least semi-comfortable. So I figured this might be an option, so I want to try this. Um, <clears throat> okay, the bag overall, let's see, in this pocket here is for um, 
water bottles and stuff. Fairly large. I mean, I can fit my hand in it. Uh, you can see how far it goes down there. I can fit my whole hand in it. Um, <laughs> I let's see what kind of bottles have I had in there. I've had you know the 16.9 ounce water bottles in it, and it worked great. I've had uh, I've had a bot or a can of Barbersol uh, shaving cream in there worked fabulously <laughs> uh actually the the can of barbersaw came all the way up to the edge so i mean if you got barbersaw and you use that that's how deep the pocket is <laughs> uh you got a front pocket here i don't have anything in there right now but i've had um hearing protection uh earplugs i've had paracord i've had all kinds of shit in here works out just great um and this pocket goes all the way up top here and all the way down bottom here so I mean it's a fairly large pocket uh, on the front on the side here I keep my cancer sticks which I don't really smoke a whole lot I don't even know why I smoke anymore but whatever and I keep my phone in there when I'm you know when I'm out and about or whatever but you can put pretty much anything in here it's a huge pocket I mean it looks kind of small but as you can see um, you know there's a a pack of uh, smokes and it fits in there with plenty of room to spare so my guess is I don't know about a, a five inch pocket I'm not gonna give all the specs like that because I mean you can get that pretty much at any website I, I bought this from bladehq.com um, it's basically the same price everywhere $53.99 but Blade HQ had the cheapest uh, shipping so that's what I went with um, alright for the main main two pockets here or three pockets we got one in front I just carry a uh, it's let's see what is the pro force it's just like a shop towel kind of thing but I, there's a million and one uses for those um in the front small pocket here there is uh three loops i got a pen a um a sharpie and then there's a big loop for you know other things um i got some blistex silk and shine <laughs> and i got a pack of gum and that's pretty much it in there. Uh, but I mean, it, you can fit all kinds of stuff in there, though. And then back here, I keep the uh, Maritech pocket organizer. But as you can see, <laughs> there is a ton of room in here. So literally, I could move this sideways. And I mean, there's a bunch of room in here. I also have my keys in the bottom. It's my car keys and stuff. Uh, when I leave anymore, I'm not in my car, so. This has my, you know, my paracord. It has all my little cards for Kroger and Speedway and stuff like that. It's got my uh, P38 can opener, I think. It's got my Spyderco bug. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. So I just keep that in the bottom. And then I uh, keep this on top. Now, I got other stuff, or I want to put other stuff in here, but I just can't really think of anything. I'd like to put a nice first aid kit in here because all I have is what's in the Maritech bag which you guys have seen um but you know this has a little a tiny first aid kit basically it's just some band-aids and stuff but anyway that's the uh that's the pack it is absolutely amazing uh perfect size actually it's a little big uh for what i like but if it, it was any smaller then i couldn't have a concealed uh carry spot back there so it's kind of you know it's kind of a uh, one of those things that, you know, I would like it a little bit smaller, but I couldn't then carry a gun. So, anyway, uh, absolutely perfect. It's the smallest one I think they make of the uh, the Fat Boy line. And uh, overall, I absolutely love it. Again, the the uh, material I thought was going to be a little bit more, I don't know, supple, I guess you would say. Kind of like a canvas instead of this nylon but um the good thing about that is this thing can get absolutely hideously gross and you could just wipe it off and at the same time uh water just runs right off the side of this thing i know because i've carried it in the rain and as you can see you can't well what you can't see is that there is zero uh water stains or anything like that on it so um that's pretty much it guys i don't know if you have any comments or questions of course leave them down below and that, my friends, is the Merit or no, not Maritech. That is the Maxpedition. Let's get a close up of that. The Maxpedition Fat Boy Good to Go Pack. Everybody, take her easy.